All right, welcome here to Rhode Island Comic Con. It's Ter Terrence Winkless here at day three at Providence, Rhode Island from the Banana Splits, of course. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. You betcha. So what is it like being at events like this, meeting your fans in person, one-on-one? -on, -one? Uh, on the whole, and actually entirely, it's great because what could be better than people coming up and saying, I really dug you when I was a kid. I look forward to every Saturday morning so much. How can you, have to, how can you not like that? It's right. fabulous. When it comes to the Banana Splits, how did you first get involved with that, and uh, how was your experience with the show? Well, uh, <laughs> it's the original nepotism. My dad wrote Kellogg's commercials uh, for a long time, and the outfit Hanna-Barbera did the animation for the Kellogg's commercials, and he got to be friendly with them. And when it came time for them to make their first live action show, namely the Banana Splits Adventure Hour, he said, I've got just the guys should be in those suits. And it was me and my brother and my other brother. That's how we got involved, the original nepotism. Wow. And what are maybe some of the other projects that maybe people didn't link together and realize that you were involved in? Well, there's, uh, there's this, the Power Rangers. Everybody knows the Power Rangers. One of them was just here, we were shooting the breeze. I also did a show called uh, Pacific Blue. Oh yes. Cops on bikes at the beach. This was a fabulous thing to do. We shot it about two weeks before I lived in uh, Marina del Rey, California. I was really sorry when that didn't get renewed for a sixth season, but the five seasons we had were fabulous. And I've done uh, 13 movies, I'm not entirely sure, a couple of kickboxing movies, uh, two horror movies, uh, a couple of dramas, you know, whatever it takes. So when it came to the, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, what was your involvement on the show? Well, I was one of any number of directors. Um, a guy I knew who had shot uh, one of my movies, Rage and Honor, he shot, Tom Calloway did. I ran into him someplace and he said, yeah, I've been doing this wacky thing out in the San Fernando Valley called Power Rangers. And he said, you should call them. And I, anyway, I called them and they liked it, my, my demo reel. You know, what you do is you take your old material and you cut it together in something flashy to show off what you can do. And they liked it. And they said, well, come on out and do some of these. So I did for like five years, from 93 to 90. Six, four years. And then again, a couple more in 98. I was not sorry to see it go behind, leave behind it, but uh, because it was not union. My next job, my next jobs were union, and that's that's a better gig. And any advice for any aspiring actors or directors out there? Go shoot material, edit it, and uh, make movies. That's how anybody gets anywhere. That's how I got anywhere. Uh, and uh, that's how all people break in. They go out and they show that they can do something. Because how else are you going to prove you can do something? You're not going to walk in and get the job just based on your good looks. Anyway, that's what I did. And in closing, for Banana Splits, the open that they shot where they're going over the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. Were you involved in that as well? Sure. Oh, wow. So uh, what was that experience like? <laughs> That was done the very first weekend that we were in the suits. The summer of 68, we went and uh, flew up to San Francisco and just jumped into the suits and jumped into the street. And uh, next thing we were new, we were going across the, the bridge. And uh, the cops pulled us over, not because there was a guy in a legal head. Here he is. A, legal head, not because there was a guy in that driving the car, but because uh, the dog and the and I, well, I mean the lion and I were up in the back. We were sitting up in the closed part of the uh, back seat, and he didn't want us doing that. So we slid in the front and or slid down onto the seat itself. He said, no problem. He didn't even give my brother a ticket for driving with a dog head on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I always thought that was hysterical. Wow. Well, Terrence, thank you so much for taking the time today. You bet. It's Rhode Island Comic Con Day 3. Best of luck, and thank you. until next time. Cheers.